Hello everybody, it's Glenda, Buster, and Rosie. And we are with AKA GK Fraylin, a friendly community. And our friendly community welcomes you. Tonight, we're gonna start figuring out what we're gonna put on Rosie's doghouse. Is that why my doghouse is on the chair? Yep. I guess that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Buster. Okay, before... Buster and Rosie and I get busy on the art. There's something that I would like to say to all, uh, to everybody who is in the middle of this heat wave right now. Even young people. My grandson, he was out mowing the other day, he mowed a fairly big yard and the grass was kind of tall. And when he came over, he, well, he had borrowed our lawnmower, and he brought it back, and he said he'd just worked for three hours. This was in the morning, and he came in, and the kid was just dripping sweat. He was just, and I could tell he was just red as a beet. I told him to go get some uh, energy drink or some electrolyte drink out of the refrigerator, which he did, and he was still thirsty, so I said, well, go get some more and get some salt. Ooh, he says, and I said, well, eat a cracker. <laughs> it's got salt on it. Okay, this is a 16-year-old young man. If he could be that badly affected by heat, just think about how badly it could affect an older adult, an elderly adult or anybody for that matter, make sure whatever you're doing, if you're outside for very long at all, you have fluids with you and drink them. <laughs> and if you're sweating a lot, then please have something salty that you can replenish that with. Now I had, I had, I happened to have Gatorade. It's not sponsored. That's just what I had, and that's what Brandon drank. And he did start feeling better, but he asked me, he said, Grandma, what does it mean if you get, if you're outside and working and you start feeling sick to your stomach? Well, knowing how he was overheated, I said, Brandon, that's when your body is saying, stop and get some fluid now. Don't push it any farther. Now that is so true. The thing is to remember, and I know, Rosie, we're not going to get much done on your house, but the thing to remember is that your body has a temperature control, and part of that is to sweat, but that also takes fluids away. If you become dehydrated too much, then your body's temperature will start to rise more than just, you know, a little bit. When your body temperature reaches a certain level, then it can actually kill you. And at the very least, it can make you very ill and make it harder for you to tolerate heat in the future. So please, please, I'm begging you all to take care of yourselves in this heat and humidity that we're having across a large part of the United States right now. I'm in Nebraska and the looking at the map it's clear up into southern North Dakota so please take care. That's it so Rosie we're finally gonna work on your doghouse. Oh good where we are. Is this it? Yes that's it. We have her doghouse over here. Do you guys mind helping me pick it up? No, 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 no. Okay. 
this is going to be her doghouse. Now, we just painted this. It's actually paper, but we just put it on there. And it's got to dry. And then we'll make, what will you make? We'll make a, a place for you to have a door. But see, you've got a little bit bigger head than, than Buster. Oh, yeah. He's got a short head. I got a tall head. That's because you're a different kind of dog. And that's okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. But what you can do tonight is help me pick out some things to decorate it with. Oh, I like that idea. Do you guys want to help? I want to help. Okay. Well, first off, I had drawn some flowers. Thank you for your help. Yeah, there's... Can I put one of you down, down for a minute? You can put me in my doghouse. It's over on the chair, but you can put me on there. I drew this daffodil a while back. And we could cut it out if Rosie likes it. I think it's pretty. I like that yellow and that green. Okay, so we could cut this out and put it on her doghouse. And I also had drawn this daisy that has a funny looking bug and a butterfly. <laughs> That's cute. I like the little funny looking bug. It was supposed to be a ladybug. We'll just put some spots on it. Well, you know what? That's a good idea. I could do that. <laughs> So anyway, that's something else we can cut out and put on the box. The thing we got to remember is there's only so much room, and like I said, your door is going to be bigger. Oh, yeah, I know. Why don't we kind of get your head on here? You set your head. We're going to have her set her head here. Do you like it on the other end? Sure, I like it over here fine. Good, because I'm right-handed. <laughs> okay, so... If we measure you out, we need to have you have enough room for that tall head. Okay, that's a big door. So, I know you can't see the pencil marks, but so far I've marked a door right here. Now, I may need to make it bigger, but right now, that looks okay. We can, she can get through there, I think. So, anyway, so we could do these flowers, if you guys like, and you know, they're both yellow, that's the thing. They're both yellow, but if we cut them out and maybe put some blue around them, then maybe that would look better make him show up a little and then we've got some well, what's that picture there oh you mean the birds and the flowers I like birds and flowers there's some birds and some flowers on here that's an awful lot though for one side oh no we'd only be able to use part of it oh well I like it well, let's see what everybody thinks, and let's go looking for other stuff. Let's see what else we can find. Okay. I'll warn you. What? I'm the kind that can like everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's see how much. Well, those are too many pups. Oh, boy. That one says puppy love. He's cute. I really like him. Oh, look at all those pretty hearts. But he's a little fuzzy and big. <laughs> that one's got a cute funny hat. <laughs> She's talking about this one with the funny hat. It's kind of cute. And it's not real big. It says heart warmer. Oh, I like that. Oh, there's way too many there. 
What about this guy? Ooh, he almost looks way too big. And I don't know if I liked his the way he looks. This is the one we're looking at. She just doesn't sure she's not sure she's ready to like him or not. Well, he just kind of I don't know. He's not my kind of top. What if it's a she? Well, I don't know. A lot of work. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty with the teacups. Yeah, she likes these teacups. Now those could go in all different colors. Oh, dear. Okay. Here she is. It's kind of like the bobbly stacked teacups. Almost from Alice in Wonderland, and there's a little dog peeking out the top. <laughs> it is cute. I'll give it that. And then there was a little dog in the stocking cap. Well, how many choices should we make here or give everybody? We seem to confuse them if we give them too many. Well, I don't know about confuse them. Okay just come up with an awful lot of oh that guy's too big for the for your house yeah he is pretty big don't they call them a lion dog that or a chow they are pretty but big oh I like her she's so pretty I want a bow like that well your hair don't stand up like that but we can find you a bow We've been planning on it. She likes this one too. So we have the two flowers. We have the birds with the flowers. We have the teacups. The puppy with the stocking cap. And the doggy with the bow. So we'll put those choices. I better write them down or I'll forget. Okay, now depending on what we choose, we could choose up to three, <clears throat> but not all of them big ones. So you mean like we could do some flowers on one side? Yeah, we could do some flowers and maybe a couple of small things. Maybe a picture on the other side? Yeah. So. Will you guys help me figure it out? None of them can be real big because I've got a big head. It isn't a bad head. It's a good head. It's just that the doghouse is only just so big. Okay. I don't feel bad then. <laughs> That's all the time I've got. So I'm going to have to say a quick goodbye and a reminder to stay safe in this heat, please.